Howdy and welcome back. Talking about the Drip BUSD Garden. Uh, we've we've been kind of waiting because there's been such a decline in the Drip BUSD LP uh, amount, and we've actually been waiting for at least at least a level out, which we've we've kind of had. There's still a decline, which means this is still uh, affecting the decay in the garden, the LP per plant or LP to seed amount. So this is still negatively affecting that, but we have had kind of a, a horizontal movement, which gives us a little more clue, not so much a clue, but more of a reassurance that when this levels out, if, if and when it does, and if it starts to head back up to where we were, which was about 39 when I bought in, higher when others probably bought in, um, we just wanted to see, I think, see that visual assurance that our revenue will start to climb back up. Um, and I've been, you know, I've been experiencing this drop. We can see there's a downward trend here. We saw that happening with this drop. Um, but then we're, I'm starting to see some, some positivity. The, the dips are in between when I'm compounding. I'm, I'm not hitting every plant just due to how often they're coming in for me right now. So I'm not hitting every plant. But I had been seeing a decline. And now I'm seeing this upward momentum, um, which we'll see. It's still depending on that that LP value, but I think we are seeing some kind of horizontal and slightly upward, uh, and, it's, and it's hard to see because we just, we don't have a lot of data with this leveling out, out, but I think we can start to see, start to get some clues on that. Now, at the same time, the contract balance is also going down, so that's also kind of a negative for the, for the garden, um, and we can see how that affects this. So, but, but I think with the contract balance going down, at the same time as this is leveling off but also still decreasing slightly, we can see that even with those two negatives that I'm either maintaining or having a slight increase. So to me, that's all positive and should point me in the direction of, hey, if drip starts to go back up, if drip starts to go back up on its price, which I'm still bullish on happening. And we may actually start to see some of that curve here as it's hitting this lower point because a lot of people are buying in. But if it starts to head back towards that all-time high, then we're going to see the LP token value come up. And if that happens, then it'll be much easier to demonstrate an increase in our daily LP and thus our daily profit that we could actually harvest a couple times a week, depending on your, on your schedule. And so that will hopefully, when we you know, start making those videos and, and feeling confident enough to see it coming back up and sharing those, those visuals, we'll get an increase in contract balance again as people become more, more confident to throw back into that. And as more of the animal farm and all those changes wrap up and we get more attention back towards Drip, remember there's a new UI coming out for Drip, a lot of bullish partnerships coming down the line after uh, Forex Shark fixes this latest little snafu with the piggy bank. If that gets fixed and all these things are, that are coming down the line can continue to click along and happen, um, then yeah, I'm still bullish all this is going to come up. And I, I think this is a good indication that it will because we're seeing this slightly horizontal, still slight decline, and we're seeing the contact, contract balance head down here. This is going down about the same as, uh, as we've seen it. But I think we could start to gain some ground. We'll start to see a, an upward movement again. I'd like to see other people's charts, by the way, if you, if you receive zero referrals, because I know I get some trickle in and I just, I can't account for those. I, I can't account for when those happen. Uh, this was just a lack of compounding for a moment. A jump like this, I can see, you know, that's a, a big, a bigger bag entering from a referral link. I can see that, but I, you know, I don't think I had a lot here or or here i don't think this is due to referrals i think this is due to this leveling out and so to me that's a positive indicator to see that increasing again and uh i i compounded earlier this has obviously dropped a like a, a few points since then i was actually closer up to about 144 143 so this dip it actually the ending line should be about here so i'm still seeing a positive upward trend and that makes me bullish that makes me still excited because it kind of helps confirm what I already think I know, which is this 
LP value and the contract balance plays a huge part of are we going to make any profit? Are we going to be able to pull out, you know, more, uh, at least a little bit every week? I want to see my 32 become 50. I want to see it become 100 that I can pull out on the weekends. And it's not going to happen until that LP value comes back up. And that's not going to happen until Drip does. So unless, unless Drip makes that climb back up and also we get some more in the contract balance on Garden, none of us are going to be making anything. We're not we sh- we're just compounding. We're just kind of spinning our wheels and trying to get back there on an upward momentum, on an upward trajectory. And it becomes easier the faster our compounding rate is. But, um, you know, it's just that that's the truth. Until this comes back up, which we're all hoping it does if we're invested, we're not going to see any profit. We're not going to see uh, a good amount that we can harvest. And I think we all know that. And so that's what we're we're hoping on. And I'm seeing actually some, yeah, because there's some horizontal movement there as well. People, I think people are liking this buy-in number, this, uh, where am I? Oh, I think I zoomed out a good bit. Yeah, give me like a seven-day. Yeah, there's still a decline, but I'm seeing less of a, le- I, I, think it, I think at each of these little moments, we're seeing people liking this, this uh, dollar amount and their dollar cost averaging on the way down. Um, and maybe we'll start to get some leveling off here. It's hard. It's hard to tell. Um, I'm sure a lot would like it. A lot of people would like it to go back to, you know, that that 58 point before they buy in the 54. But they may miss their chance if this starts swinging up sooner. Um, I don't have a lot of free extra to throw in. So you know, but if it would drop down to like 20 or something, it it'd be hard for me to resist not buying four or five drip at least to throw back into the faucet. Uh, just because we've seen how this rise can work in everyone's advantage over the course of a few months and really make some good money for you. So it'll, it'll be pretty tempting as it drops. I think a lot of people are going to buy back in, but we'll see. We'll see. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of demonstrate those charts that even with this not incredibly positive contract balance or drip BUSD, just it leveling out, I think, that I'm perceiving a increase, a rise there, um, and so that makes me that makes me bullish. That makes me still excited for the whole thing. And uh, if I wasn't, then what would I do anyway? Except continue to compound, right? So, still interesting ecosystem. I'm still involved in it and still following along. But but you all know that I'm just plotting long, continue to compound and see where I end up. May lose it all tomorrow. We don't know. We're just going to keep trying here. Not financial advice. You got to do what you want. Do your own research into these systems if you're looking into them. And thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing if you made it this far. And if you like the content, I appreciate the like and subscribe. You guys have a great day. See you on the next video.